Hello, dear researchers. I am Nasrin Salehnia from Agrimasoft, and in today's video, I'll just give you a brief uh, overview about a series of videos for finding the answer of this outstanding question that it would be how to write a scientific paper. You know, you can search my name and find my papers in Google Scholar, and also you, you know, when my student asked me about how can they write a paper, how can they start uh, with a good and innovative title, what are the main points that they should address before writing, then I taught and uh, took advice them about how can they, I mean, that uh, prepare uh, some points uh, and get some key points about preparing their uh, result a day paper so how we're in this uh, series of videos uh, I gonna uh, try to show a brief story about all these major points and it's not only a fundamental question that we should find its answer but also we should learn more tips hands and comments to find a comprehensive answer for this question okay so now let's go uh, by starting by talking about, uh, I mean that the main structure uh, of uh, a paper that I will present it in the next videos. I'm gonna talk to you about what goes into each of those sections to write a scientific scientific report, paper. And before that, I will start this slide. Imagine that a chef wants to make a cake. He has has a special ingredients and the methods of making it, but he doesn't know how can he sell it, how can he continue to work with a skillful and professional behavior. Indeed, if we want to depict a similar manner as a researcher, we do have to publish our findings as uh, papers. Otherwise, we will perish and it wouldn't be good for us as a researcher. So, in this step, I want to uh, talk about different uh, overview about preparing a paper. Uh, in the next video, we will describe how can we organize our manuscripts and what will the main steps uh, and sections. For example, how can we write abstract and introduction? What are the main uh, elements in that in, uh, abstract and introduction in keywords in goals and the others also we will focus on preparing how can we prepare uh, the figures and tables for a good hiring uh, scientific journal so we will also uh, try to write up how can we write up material and methods results and also how can we get uh, uh, some results about uh, discussions and also conclusions. You know, uh, as a beginner, uh, I meant that for a beginner researcher, it would be a little hard to make the difference between result and conclusion. It, is not, it, it wouldn't be easy for a beginner researcher. So I will try uh, to show you uh, what are the main differences between result and conclusions. So by the way, also, there are some different uh, comp uh, main concepts uh, we should, uh, I mean, that uh, try to learn uh, to uh, uh, to learn about them. You know, the first one would be a scopus. What is a scopus used for, and how to find a scopus in Dice's journal? You mean that I mean that after we completely familiar with each part of a scientific paper, as the previous slide. In the next step, uh, we should l um, learn about different metrics. I mean that what all the metrics are that we are currently evaluated on a scientific paper, and I will to point out the essential ones to you. These are so important uh, for knowing them. And another uh, concept would be impact factors and Q rank, which is started from Q1 up to Q4. And the last one would be citations. If you want to write a paper will cite by many other researchers and scientists in the future, you should have enough information about these concepts. You can get an idea of what actually 
I mean, that really drives citations uh, just a little bit of a thought about that. But nevertheless, how we are going to have to work with them. And other things would be which journal that is proper uh, for us to send our paper in our field of study. It is so important where publish your science and it is significant what is the quality of your science that you want to publish. And at the end, we will know about submit our paper with uh, respect to, with attention to uh, different previous steps and concepts. So this, uh, another, uh, I mean, the key tips would be here that I'll try to show you in the next videos. Uh, after the main steps for sending a paper, for example, how can write a cover letter, how can, uh, what are the main criteria for selecting reviewers and uh, uh, introduce them to the editor uh, and different many other steps, there are also uh, some points that you should learn them before sending uh, your paper. For example, open access versus subscription item, you know, there are different kinds of uh, journals in two, they're divided in two kinds. I mean that the first one would be open access and the other one is subscription format. So what are the advantages and the, the, the disadvantages of both items? I will uh, try to show you. The other concept would be SJR. It is an important index that uh, we can uh, find uh, our uh, uh, I mean that intent journal and it. So I will uh, learn to you, uh, I will teach to you how can you find it. And the last one would be Google Scholar. As a researcher, it is really important for you to define and make a Google Scholar page of your papers, conference, and the other things. So uh, there are some items such as H index and item index that I'll show to you the difference between of them, the essential things that you should know about Google Scholar also. So uh, this series of videos would be a complete package that assists you to prepare your science and then your manuscript to send a proper journal. I encourage you to start writing a paper with enough self-confidence by having some primary tips as a background and also that you should have uh, them before starting to publish a high quality paper. There are some important tips that they are preferred things beside your uh, high quality paper. You should knowledge about them. This series of videos will provide you with insights into what to include in each section of the paper and talk you through some of the best practices for writing. And finally, it would good a series packages of video about how can we write a scientific scientific paper okay at the end please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give these videos a thumbs up and subscribe to agrimasoft channel with this address and you know put your uh, comments and questions below this video your follow and like encourage me to make more similar videos and it would be helpful for me. Uh, by the way, thank you for your attention. See you in the next video and bye.